So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about two interesting PlayStation 5 stories. One focused on the PS5 hands-on sessions going live this weekend. Just a refresher on what's going on over there and the possibility of a teardown next week. Beyond that, I also wanted to shine some light on this PS4 to PS5 cross-save matter because I feel that it'll be useful to know for people sticking it out on PS4 for a little while longer. First, let me know if you're going to be jumping on PlayStation 5 day one next month. It honestly feels so good to <laughs> so good to finally say that, but let me know if you're jumping on the PlayStation 5 day one next month or not. Some have decided that with games like Spider-Man Miles Morales and Horizon Forbidden West coming to PS4 as well, and their PlayStation 4 backlog still being sizable to just stick it out on the PlayStation 4 for a little while longer. I still have a PlayStation 4 backlog as well, but I'll be playing those games on the PlayStation 5. But again, that's just me. So comment below. Are you going to be jumping on PlayStation 5 day one next month or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, this PS4 to PS5 cross-save matter. So, as I've mentioned before, I'll be jumping on the PlayStation 5 day one. So, any cross-generation game, I'll be playing on the PlayStation 5. But that's not the case for everyone, so that's why I wanted to discuss this. So, let's quickly break down the difference between cross-save and being able to play PS4 games on PlayStation 5 with the same save. So... You can play any compatible PlayStation 4 game on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 with the same save that'll work across both systems. The PS5 will essentially be running in compatibility mode, so you're essentially, again, just playing on a PlayStation 4, so the same save will work just fine across both systems. On the other side of this, you have cross saves, which work across a PS4 game that also has a PlayStation 5 version. An example of this would be Spider-Man Miles Morales on PlayStation 4. That game also has a PlayStation 5 version and your save file on the PlayStation 4 version will also work on the PlayStation 5 version of the game. Now that we've established that, the list of games that don't have cross-save support on PlayStation has grown just a little bit. It was originally just Yakuza Like a Dragon, then another game called Man-Eater, uh, joined the list and now Dirt 5 has joined the list as well. While all of these games do support free upgrades to the PlayStation 5, they don't support the ability to use the same save file on the PlayStation 4 version of the game on the PlayStation 5 version of the game. In Dirt 5's case though, that could change before launch according to the developers who stated the following on Twitter. Currently on Xbox, all progress can be carried over between generations. On PlayStation, your playground creations can be carried over, but other game progress like career, currency, save liveries cannot. If that changes, we'll let you know. So you can keep the online content, but the single player content won't transfer over, which I stated in my last video on this topic would be the case for games with this issue because online content is associated to your account either way and is pushed to the game's servers in the back end anyway. The list is just three games for now, but I just wanted to still shine some light on this for anyone sticking it out on the PlayStation 4 to help with your decision making going forward. But you guys let me know if you're getting Dirt 5 on PlayStation 4 or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the second story of the video, PS5 hands-on sessions going live this weekend with the possibility and honestly at this point should be the guarantee of a teardown and UI reveal next week. So this is kind of a refresher to talk about this because it's so close. It's literally this weekend and I'm excited for all of it. So reading from the PlayStation Japanese blog from Thursday, September 24th to Sunday, October 4th, the YouTube sponsor sponsored game festival YouTube Gaming Week will be held. Sony Interactive Entertainment will participate in this event and popular creators who have a YouTube channel will experience PlayStation 5 which is about to be released in Japan on Thursday, November 12th and will see the pattern on their own channel in October from 1800 on the 4th Sunday. We will hold a project try PlayStation 5 on YouTube Gaming Week to release videos 
videos in sequence. Stay tuned for more information on what titles popular creators enjoyed. From now on, we will continue to try to have popular channel creators of the YouTube platform experience PlayStation 5 until the PS5 release period. So they stated it'll start at 6 p.m. Japan time on Sunday, which means it'll take place at 5 a.m. here in the West. So be ready to stay up if you want to be one of the first people to see this, I assume. They also state more YouTubers will be getting the PlayStation 5 beyond just the ones listed, whom are all Japanese YouTubers. So again, Sony, if you guys need someone, just hit me up. I could help you out if you need it. I'm a busy guy, but I could squeeze some time in for the PlayStation 5, you know, clear something in my schedule for the PlayStation 5 you know get some hands-on time what they give you my feedback all of the good stuff i'm here for all of it if you need it <laughs> but in terms of the games they're playing in terms of the games these japanese youtubers have played on the playstation 5 it's funny that it's friday now and we're still waiting to see what games will be played at this point i'm just going to assume we're just going to find out all of this on sunday but of course let's see what happens beyond that i really have to think sony will now finally show us the teardown of the console next week along with the ui reveal because the console literally releases next month also i'm going to assume these youtubers have the playstation 5 so are we not going to already see it in people's hands at this point so why not just have the teardown next week i understand on the xbox side the ui revealed by youtubers is not final but we've seen it and we've seen people handle the xbox console a lot at this point so i think we're either going to finally see the ps5 get held this weekend or at the latest next week i'll honestly be very surprised if these hands-on sessions this weekend don't actually show people holding the PlayStation 5 at this point. But you guys let me know if you think we're finally going to get the PS5 tear down next week or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it always helps. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with show us the hardware. Because at this point, I think Sony, you guys just need to do this teardown already. And if you're on the same boat, destroy the comment section with show us the hardware. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.